Hey guys, the Count Olaf here, and I have another wonderful episode for you guys today. And we're going to be talking about in-depth Gears of War customization for your characters. Before I get started with this, I kind of want to talk about the rumor mill a little bit and how, you know, we're all hungry for Gears of War 5 news. And this channel isn't necessarily covering news and what's coming up new, but when we see something new, we can always have questions and things that aren't covering news. And one of those things is there's kind of a rumor, I'm doing quotation marks right now. So we had this little thing that popped up on Twitter, something that was like kind of like rumors that happened. Now when it comes to rumors, you have to take everything with a grain of salt, but one of them did catch my eye and kind of had the gears in my brain start to turn and be like, yeah, maybe this would be interesting to talk about because, you know, Gears has always wanted to have so much in-depth customization, and here's what it has to say. Play Gears of War your way. Deeper customization. Now, since the dawn of time, Gears of War, and at least the Gears of War community, has always said we want, like, super in-depth customization for your characters. And there are some good things about it, and there's some bad things about it, but let's let's really talk about this and kind of delve into this. Now, Gears of War has always had some type of customization that be, you know, you get to pick your characters. You don't start off as generic man, dude man. You actually can sit down, option to pick, you know, hey, I want to play as Marcus Phoenix, or I want to play as Dom, or Baird, or even Anthony Carmine. Gears 2 was a little differently because you could pick your characters, but for the first time ever, you could have, if you pre-ordered the game or you got the special edition, you could get either a gold-plated hammer burst or a gold-plated lancer, so that was the first weapon skin, and that was so unique and cool, and then we get to Gears of War 3, and this is where customization started to really show its teeth. You know, we had weapon skins, we had characters that you unlock through progression, something that doesn't really happen now. But the most important thing is is that this is the first time we really had character customization. Gears Judgment had a lot more of it, and it was a lot different because it was more like paints on your character rather than just generally having customization. But you still had weapon skins, and you still had like a normal progression system. Gears 4 is the same way, except, you know, we had, you know, post-launch support with loot crates and eh, love, love it or hate it. We still did get a lot of unique characters, but there's many ways to expand upon it because the way they have the card system now and just have, looking for characters is kind of a little bit convoluted because, you know, you're looking for something and like, maybe I want to play as a cog gear, but then there's like 16 variations of it and you have to kind of like look around. I mean, yeah, they're kind of bunched in the same similar way, but I would just love to have just one menu where you click on the cog gear and then you could switch you know uh from male to female then you can pick like hey i want to play as e-day gear v-day gear uh medic or anything in between or even like ncog like all those should be in like one separate menu but that isn't really customization that's just more optimization now the ideal situation and this is the gold standard in my opinion uh, for customization that's super in-depth is Halo Reach. I think that had the best character customization ever in a game, and I'd like to see it like almost like re-upped and rematched. But does it work for Gears? Would you want to have something that's super in-depth? Because Gears is a different beast all itself. What I mean by that is Gears of War has primarily been a series where you get to pick your character, but the characters aren't just generic people unless you play as the cog gear medic and so on and so forth. You're playing as people from the campaign and people that you really kind of get emotionally invested with throughout the campaign and then you're able to play as them. Now, would this work for an in-depth customization system? Yes, but it would have to be in a way that's done very realistically and very true to Gears of War. And what I mean by that is people invest all their emotions into characters like Ty, Kim, Marcus, Dom, even Locust. Like, when Gears 4 first dropped, people's, like, number one question is, is we'd like to play as OG Locust because people like the Locust. And, you know, you have some great character designs and you have a lot of things that are like, I really am emotionally invested in characters. Does customization work? And my answer is yes, and here's kind of the proposed idea based upon Halo Reach and their customization system. I think when you're dealing with a customization system like Gears, it doesn't necessarily work like Halo Reach where you play as like a no-named red shirt and you can build yourself from the ground up. I believe if they're going to have a customization system, it needs to be something that, you know, you can swap your heads for your characters, but they need to always be like a Marcus Phoenix head or something like Borderlands where you have the head swaps, but they're done that are realistic rather than having like super goofy characters because Gears does benefit 
by being more grounded, even though we have like 16 variations of Oscar as a wrestler. The unique aspect of Gears is that a lot of people like playing as characters that they've, you know, grown accustomed to. Like, I remember back in the day when Gears 3 first launched and Kim and Ty weren't in the multiplayer at launch, people were up in arms. Like, there was a lot of petitions to have them included as DLC, which, you know, we did get with Rom Shadow. Same as with a lot of variations in Gears 4 when we have, like, all these characters coming back. And it was so unique and interesting to, like, see people's, like, be, like, emotionally invested in these characters, even though, you know... They're from a video game, and people love them and care for them. Like, personally, for me, when Gears 4 launched, and I saw that Bernie was, you know, had a character model, but you couldn't play as Bernie, I was a little sad at launch. And I kind of grew emotionally invested in playing as Bernie because I had always loved Bernie from the books and her story arc. And in Gears 3, I wanted to play as Prescott, and to play as him, you had to do, like, a bunch of weird challenges, and I did it. And I played with him for a lot, though, you know, I prefer playing as Bernie, even though... Chairman Prescott isn't in Gears 4. Well, he's dead, but even in multiplayer, he's dead. So does in-depth customization work for Gears? Well, let's look at some other versions of it. Like, if we look at Call of Duty, you know, customization has now become a huge thing in 2019. Like, it is a big thing. It's a big money-making thing. Let's put it that way. But also, being able to personalize yourself and get bigger, better things, but also cool things that, like, rep you on the battlefield... Like, everyone wants their diamond print and tiger camos. I, I get that. Does it work for Gears? Yeah, it, it can work for Gears. And kind of here's here's the plan that I think should work. Uh, through progression or through, I'm sure, loot crates or battle packs or whatever they decide to go with, I think if they're going to do more in-depth progression, I think they should do something similar to Halo Reach where you have the ability to toggle between, you know, head, shoulders, arm pads, uh, feet, and whatnot. But, you know, as you're unlocking things, you're unlocking different things like Marcus Phoenix with Durag, Marcus Phoenix without it, old man Marcus, young man Marcus, baby head Marcus. I don't know why there'd be baby head Marcus. Like, that would have come to the thought of, like, oh, my God, you could play as baby Marcus. But you you see what I'm getting as, like, as you're unlocking things, it's more as, like, oh, yeah, I still have my, my base starter model. But, you know, you can progress and get things through loot crates so they can have different things in armor sets. Like, you can swap between, you know, you can have Old Man Marcus with, like, Gears 3 Marcus body. Or you can do things like that. I think that would be an interesting, unique uh, character customization that you can have. Same as with having the cog gear. That would fix some of the optimization of having, you know, pretty much the cog gear as you just swap helmets out. You can change it. Because, you know, I remember in Gears 3 when we first had the idea of there's going to be a character just called the cog gear because in gears one and two there was always like a character that corresponded with the helmet such as with anthony carmine and ben carmine and then i remember seeing this promotional image uh for trenches and you see him he's like wait a second are there going to be two carmines in this and no no so you you have this idea of having like a unique character and unique personalities in games where uh, you play Call of Duty, and people aren't really emotionally invested in playing as the Call of Duty 4 guy. They play as, you know, they want to play as in Blackout, like Reznov, and they want to play as all the zombies people. They don't want to play as, like, super generic person. But in Gears, it's a little different, because you have, like, unique personalities, even in the COG gear. And by having, you know, toggles, you can have switched between different helmets, like NCOG, even Onyx Guard to an extent, you could have all those things where you have like a unique character, you can unlock new ones, but then you can have more customizations. So you can have always have like Gears 1 Baird and then Gears 4 Baird. Like you can have bald hair, no hair, and everything in between. Same as with DBs, because all they are is just a head swap. You, you would optimize the system in that way and having like the Locust Drone was like almost every variant it was just Locust Drone with the helmet such as you know playing as Beastmaster or Spotter or Grappler or I don't even think Grappler was in the game well I mean, it was uh, for the grind lift sequence but that wasn't like a character model or Bolter I'd love to see like a Bolter head same as with I think with character customization you have a lot of unique opportunities to add more flair to the game but also not make it obnoxious and what I mean by that is by with in-depth customization in Gears, you might have like this ugly trend of like having, like let's say, Anya with pink hair, and all of a sudden she's like rocking uh, pretty much like super obnoxious colors and makes it hard to see on the battlefield. 
I, I don't want to really see that anymore. Like, if you have it on your weapon skins, that's a different subject because, you know, those are weapon skins and you can at least put them away and you won't be able to be spotted halfway across the map because you have, like, a neon pink Lancer or Retro. But when you have, like, weird, wacky customization things, uh, I remember Gears 3 had a huge point of, like, we want to make all of our female characters super realistic. We don't want, like, big-boobed Anya in a bikini shooting people. Like, we want her to be realistic we want her to be really grounded and just respectful and i think that might be one of those things where having different options would work i mean you could still have like e-day on you and all those things but they would just be simple head swaps or you can actually you know mix and match like you can have gears one anya's head on gears three anya and you can go from there and i think that would be a unique aspect to gears and having the deeper customization the one thing that I think would probably be something that they really wouldn't change would be the indicator lights being blue for the cog and red for the locust slash swarm because when you have different colors, I think it kind of like messes up things because you kind of forget things because you wouldn't have red for the cog and then you wouldn't have blue for the locust. I don't think they'd ever change that, but who knows? Maybe, maybe you might have like purple indicator lights or green indicator lights, like that stuff. I'm totally fine for, same as with weapon customization. Another thing I would love to see is kind of like weapon model variation, such as if I wanted to select between the Gears 4 Nasher, like how that looks, and the Gears 2 and Gears Classic and how that looks. I would love to see that, same as with the Hammer Burst. It's gone through so many different variations. I know in Gears Judgment, you could have the traditional Hammer Burst or you can have the original Gears 1 Hammer Burst. I thought that was so cool. I mean, yes, they do two different things, but having those models would be unique and interesting in Gears because there's a huge variety of them as well as just little, little touches that you could have. Same as with, you know, uh, I'd love to see the ability to, like, swap out, like, your Crimson Omen. Like, I want Gears 1 Crimson Omen on your screen when you're hit. Or maybe I'd love to see the Gears 3 one return. And, like, little small things that you could do. Or even customization for, your, like, how you murder people in Gears. Like, maybe different uh, executions, kind of like Fatalities and Mortal Kombat. Like, you can, like, switch between three variations of the... Uh, execution like instead of like jamming your lancer into a person's chest like you just like chop their head off with your saw or even smaller things uh like the face pound i want to see the arm rip come back for the locust but that could be like a you know either have the face pound or arm rep that like, you can switch between those that'd be so so rad same as with like audio clips like i i'd like to be able to pick like your preference but because i love character audio clips and i think that's just me Though, I like the system they have right now, and your characters are always constantly talking and saying funny things. Yeah, it's so unique, and it gets like really fun and exciting talking about this. Though, I think the main thing would be with the customization would be, how would you implement this? Now, it's one of those things where we could talk about it, and it's, well, it's either going to be through a loot crate system where you can lock individual pieces... Other than, you know, getting frustrated like in Gears 4 where you're trying to get a character and you don't get it, but you get, like, all the weapon skins, by having different armor pieces, you're at least having, like, a sense of, like, spending money on a loot crate. This would be a new alternative where it's pretty much, like, armor pieces, and then you also get the weapon skins, so you feel like it's more spread out, so at least you're unlocking your character, building up the model, and you can get, like, arm pads, knee pads, everything that has a pad on it. Uh, different character heads, different character quips, like things like that. That would be cool. Like you have like a super in-depth character customization and maybe that would work better. Maybe that might actually solve some of the problems with the loot crate system. Like I understand like getting characters was really hard statistically. I'm sure B-Chaps has a good old fashioned statistic for that by spreading it out to like five or six pieces with including like the five or six or how many weapon skins you have in a set. That might actually improve the statistics a lot. I'm not, I don't know math. I barely can count on my fingers. I need a calculator for five plus six. Or they do something like the battle pass system where as you play, you unlock like the head last, but you unlock things like knee pads, boots, and you basically build up your soldier that way. Who knows? That could work, possibly not, but I have like faith in the coalition when it comes to character customization because they have been doing a lot of great work with the customization Maybe that, I don't know, it's like the hard thing about it is, is like, at launch, would I like to see Locust? Yes, I want to see Locust, because they kind of painted themselves in kind of a corner, because all the Locust models are super cool and, like, detailed, and the Swarm, they're just, like, weird blurg monsters, but I still think a lot of them are really cool. 
like the Imago is really cool, and also the drone and the hunter. Like they're actually really, really cool to play as. Though I think that nothing beats the locust because they're such a great character design, and also they have some of the best quips. And I mean, we are getting Gilded Rom in Gears Five at launch, so who knows? What would you guys like to see for character customization? It's one of those interesting topics that, you know, we could talk about for days. And I like character customization. The more you can personalize yourself, the more you can kick butt on the battlefield the way that you want to. And who knows? Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a bad thing. But primarily what I wanted to say was thank you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like, subscribe, or do whatever you need to do. Well, I'm Zach. And let's keep those gears turning.